You're so proficient at that. Oh, they're getting back up! Oh, they're getting back up! Oh, I didn't know they'd get back up! Oh! Oh my god. Okay, well, this has suddenly become hard. <laughs> yeah. To the wonderful world of junk, have you ever come across one of those legendary crystal skulls? What makes you ask that? You have so many other oddities in here, I was just wondering. No. I know the legend, of course, and I sure wouldn't mind getting my hands on one of those babies. I mean, I could sell it for a fortune. But no such luck. Funny. I've been thinking about those skulls lately. A lot. Really? Hey, maybe we got some kind of psychic thing going here. Quick, think of a number between 1 and 10 and I'll try to guess it. You thinking of a number? Okay, uh, 4. 9. <laughs> Darn. Guess it was just a coincidence. Guess so. There's a man sitting at the gumbo stand outside named Gilbert Buford. Do you know him? We're not close personal friends or anything, but I certainly know of him. Comes from one of the wealthiest and most prominent families in New Orleans. And on top of all that, he's a doctor. Guy's gotta be rolling in dough. Must be nice, huh? That gumbo stand outside? What do you think? Is it pretty authentic? Outstanding! Just watch the hot sauce. Whatever's in it gives my stomach instant fits. You know, Does I still now? feel guilty about that sneezing thing. This so feels like a crime. how about I go and get you a nice big bowl of gumbo? Just so happens I'm starving. So hey, you got a deal. Great. I'll be right back. Yeah, I think tampering with people's food is a big no-no. Yeah. Evening. What can I do for you? I would like the gumbo. Can I get a gumbo to go, please? Eat up. <laughs> More. Oh, nope. Mm, gumbo. Not like the, uh... Chocolate bars. <laughs> Bess knows when to stop. <laughs> yeah. She's not trying to kill a man. <laughs> Couldn't you like immediately see that there's hot sauce on it or like smell it? That my gumbo? Yeah. There you go. Enjoy. Gonna mm. watch me eat it. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, you're gonna have to excuse me. In there. <laughs> Oof. It's just so cruel. Yeah, it's really messed up. <laughs> he might be the bad guy, though, so. Bruno and uh -oh. Grant. Well, I better get out of here. Back in the name. <laughs> Grant? The dog's name is Grant? That's what it said on the photo. Kind of a weird name for a dog, huh? Yeah, well, Bruno Bollet was kind of a weird guy. Hey, thanks a lot, Bess. You've been a huge help. I'll tell you, being sneaky takes a lot out of me. I'm exhausted. I still don't know when I'll get back there, so just kind of hang loose, okay? Story of my life. Call me if you need me. I, I will. Bye. And leave your friends hanging, Nancy. Like, you came down here to have a good time and, like, spend time with your friend and you're just off doing your own thing. I feel like she might be a little neurodivergent. Mm -hmm. Um, I've always loved the idea of naming pets like normal human names, yeah. so that you can be like talking to your coworkers <laughs> yeah. and be like, "Man, like you know, Jessica got stuck in the wall again," or something <laughs> like that. And you're like, "Who?" And you're like, "Oh, my cat, Jessica." <laughs> Mackenzie threw up on the rug last night. Yep. <laughs> All right, this is useless. Scully, is Kelly your wife or your dog? How can you ask me that? Uh, okay. So uh, I think we need to go to the book. And yes, find so you a have the photo. Yeah, I mean, I can look at it. Oh, the last name is Grant. Writhing Roots Memorial. Derek Grant? Writhing Roots Memorial? Writhing Roots Memorial, here we come! Nancy needs no parka or poncho. She's nope. out in the rain. She is immune in her cardigan, probably. I feel like she's a cardigan. Looks like she's got a little dress on. Yeah. Derek. Ah, what a little pirate hat. Perfect. Cool eye. Yeah. Alright, how many eyes do we have now? 23. Oh my god, two more. 
So I assume now we have to make Iggy into a little pirate. Aww. Let's kill some bugs. Chuck, chuck. <laughs> Nancy the exterminator. Just call me the exterminator. You're so proficient at that. Oh, they're getting back up. Oh, they're getting back up. Oh, I didn't know they'd get back up. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, well, this has suddenly become hard. <laughs> yeah, my god! Oh no, that's annoying. They have to all die. <gasps> oh, that one's mad! Oh, he's gonna get you. Upper right. I'm trying. Oh. They just keep coming back so fast. I know. Oh no. Stay down! Uh... Ouch! Ow! Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> She gonna die? This is harder than Dark Souls. Yeah. I'd rather fight Ornstein than Smau. <sighs> Suck. Ow! Ouch! Ow! <gasps> we have to go home. Why? I run into some wasps. Stung me on every part of my body except my. <sighs> nope. Caught me there too. We have to cut our weekend short on account of wasps. I'll explain later, okay? Right now, it kind of hurts to talk. Oh my god. I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but Nancy, you really need to be more careful. No, duh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Really hard. I, know. <laughs> I would rather play Dark Souls. <laughs> There's no like. Oh, oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! There was no way of getting around that either. No. Oh my God! My adrenaline is <laughs> racing. Better like this luck, what Iggy? <laughs> Shove it down your throat. <laughs> Holy smokes. That was ridiculous. Come here, you little iguana bastard. Iggy! Oh, Iggy! Maybe if you grab more than one at a time, Nancy. Yeah, really. There's a whole freaking tree and you can't grab more than one. This flouncy collar. Alright. Off you go, Iggy. Um, there was a note about the Jolly Rogers. Is that the date of the meeting? Was yeah, note? today. Scuttled oh. bones? Bess! <laughs> Hello? Hi, Bess. Listen, you busy? Uh, why? I need you to do something for me. What? I need you to infiltrate the meeting of the Jolly Rogers crew that's about to be held at Rampart and Dumain, which has got to be right near Zeke's. Nice You're going to have to look around for it. Now, to get into the meeting, you'll need to put on that skeleton man costume you saw in the back room. And once you're in the meeting, you'll need to listen for the name that opens the meeting so you can tell me what it is, okay? Uh, no. <laughs> I know you don't like to do stuff like this, but this is really, really, really important. And it'll be the last thing I ask you to do. I promise. Oh. Dr. Buford's gone. Oh, uh, yeah. What if I said no? <sighs> She's gonna be like, please. She'll be like, okay. Oh, all right. I don't suppose it would do any good to point out that the curio shop is closed. Oh. You'll find a way in. Break in. Oh, yeah, if come on, Bess. It's a little crime between friends. Scuttled bones. Okay, I'll give it a shot. That's the spirit. <laughs> Go commit crimes for me, Bess. No. I would be so mad at Nancy if I was best. <laughs> oh. Two, oh. Two, eight, nine, nine, zero, five. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we could have been doing this the whole time. Yeah, really. This is causing the poor man intestinal distress. I can't believe she's going to wear that. Hello. 
What's the password? Your password? mama. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, none of those. It's got a boat. They want us to get it wrong? Oh. oh. <laughs> Scuttled bones. Better hurry, we're just about to start. Okay. Okay. I'm not a teenage girl, I promise. John Lafitte! John Lafitte! John Lafitte! John Lafitte! Welcome, my fellow Jolly Rogers. You know that voice. We have several pressing matters Dr. to discuss this evening, so let us begin. As you may or may not have heard, certain city officials are attempting to deny us the right not only to gather in public places during the Mardi Gras season, but they have also seen fit to... Shoot, I forgot to turn off my cell phone. Come on, guys. It's sleeping 101. It seems we have an uninvited guest. Get him! <gasps> Let go! You're making a big mistake! Let go of me! Look! I'm not here to make trouble. You're making a, a big deal out of nothing. Can we just talk about this? Where are you taking me? If you just let me explain. Why, it seems our trespasser is of the female variety. Let's have a look. <gasps> That's yeah. right. You know me and I know you, Dr. Buford. And I also know that you were the one who attacked my friend over at the Bole Mansion today. And if you don't tell me why right now, I promise you, you are going to be in one big world of hurt. The young lady's clearly upset about something. Clarence, take over don't the ghost like me. <laughs> yeah. Find out why she's making all these crazy accusations. They're not crazy, and you know it. I will tell you everything, Miss Marvin, in private. And he did. He told me everything, Nancy. I bluffed him into confessing. You would have been did so you? proud of me. Oh, and before I forget, the name they chanted at the start of the meeting was Jean Lafitte. Jean Lafitte. Great. Now, what did Dr. Buford tell you? Okay. First off, he said that with his dying breath, Bruno Bollet directed him to steal the painting of Henry's parents and lock it up in Henry's parents' crypt. Bruno seemed to think that way, Henry would wind up with the crystal skull instead of somebody else. So Dr. Buford dressed up in his skeleton man costume, stole the canvas, and hid it in the crypt like Bruno asked. That must have been when Rene saw Mr. Death. But then, Dr. Buford had second thoughts and decided to hack with Henry. He wanted that crystal skull for himself. So this afternoon, he dressed up in his skeleton man costume again and snuck into Henry's house so he could get the key from that mini cemetery and retrieve the painting he'd left in that crypt, knowing the painting would somehow lead him to the skull. Only I walked in on him and ruined everything. Right. And now that we're on to him, he says he no longer wants the skull. He's embarrassed that he allowed his superstitious side to get the best of him and says whoever finds the skull is welcome to it. At least that's what Dr. Buford said. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? I told him you were looking for the skull. That's all right. Actually, I told him you were on the verge of finding it. Why would you tell him that? I don't know. I got carried away. So if he lied to me and he really does still want the skull, then he might come after you. He left right after we talked, and I don't think he went back into that meeting. What if he's on his way over there? Don't worry, I'll be fine. Why don't you just call the police? <laughs> Whoa, that bolt of lightning was huge. Anyway, why don't you the just go just relax and I'll be back at the hotel before you know it, okay? And he already assaulted her. Vess? Right. Hello? Basically kidnapped Vess, you Vess. there? Nope, she sure isn't. Great. You're probably safe in that little room. Yeah, just don't leave the room, Nancy, ever. This pirate friend is now your boyfriend. Forget yeah. Ned. We have little pirate buddy. Was there? Oh, yeah. Jean. Do you have to do it that many times for each one, or is it. The... Oh, is it just once? Jean.
I was going old school texting. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the last eye? No. no. <laughs> Is there something with the spider hole? Yes. Spider hole. Spider hole. Does whatever a spider hole does. D. One. D. Two. Three. D. E. 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 D. C. D. E. C. Got it. God. Alright. I never want to see another eyeball again. <laughs> right. Left. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, we had the hand into the thingy. Uh huh. Well, now what? <laughs> oh, should we call this guy? Maybe. Do we have his number? It's, I mean, it's down there. Authenticator. Yeah? Is this Milo Research and Technology? This is Chaz, Milo. Service forward is your call to my cell. What do you want? Are you all right? I'm at the gym. On the treadmill. It's called multitasking. Mm -hmm. Well, about the letter you sent to Dr. Belay, you know, where you told him the skull was a fake? Mm. I was just wondering... I never told him that. Never told him what? Bum, bum, I told bum. him that skull was authentic. No, Should've done you this said in like the letter hours ago. <laughs> of using modern instruments. I said all the tests I ran proved the skull had been... Hand carved and hand polished. Probably took decades to make. But the letter Dr. Bollet got said just the opposite. Then the letter he got must not have been the letter that I wrote. Are you saying the crystal skull is real? Hey, I'm not saying it's magic or anything. I'm just saying it wasn't made using 19th century, 20th century, or 21st century technology. Did you carbon date it to see how old it was? The thing was pure quartz. No carbon in quartz. No carbon, no carbon dating. Hey, look, I'm gonna hang up now. If I try to talk anymore, I'm gonna pass out. Just one more question. Did you send that letter saying the skull was authentic to anyone else? No, just Dr. Bollet. I heard he died recently. Good thing I filled him up front. Yeah, well, thanks for your help. No problem. Okay, so it is real. It is real. It's Renee. It's gotta be Renee. Trust her. Sure. Uh, sure, I'll take that. <laughs> huh. She climbed up. Wacky. Now we got all the pieces of his contraption. Apparently. Just in time for Dr. Buford to come bum, bum, bum. and murder us. Lightning rod in the hole. In the hole. Boop. Skeleton arm. Boop. Lightning rod, magic glowing eye thing. You don't have one of those in your backyard? <laughs> what? This had to like all be under perfect conditions, you know. 
if it wasn't raining that day, it wouldn't have happened. Fancy it has been stayed in there like There it is. Ye old crystal skull. Thank you. Yoink. Get out of there, Nancy! This is where you call someone and be like, hey, I'm about to go <gasps> into the crypt. Nancy? Oh. That you in there? Goodness sakes, gal, what on earth have you gone and done? The lid's closing and I don't know how to stop it! Here, I'll pull you up. Grow Toss me the what lamp you're holding boy. up there, then give me your hands. Come on, you best hurry. Don't, don't. Uh, here it comes. <sighs> She's so stupid. Renee, a little help, please? The crystal skull. After all that scheming, how do I finally get it? Why, this nice little Yankee girl just hands it to me. Renee, help me. Hurry, please. Thank you, Nancy. Bye now. Miracle Nancy English. No! You've got to help me! Renee! Stone Cold Renee! Killer Renee. Yep. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, no. More puzzle. Ah! Oh. oh. In the lightning. Oh, God. Oh. I um. click the pairs. Oh, I see. Um, okay. Oh, far right. All the way at the top. Yep. Moon, moon, that thing. Over to the right, one more to the left. Infinity was there, yeah. Flame, wave. Nailed it. Thank God there was a fail safe. Way to get out. He yeah. thought of everything. And Bruno was a dentist and not like an escape room designer. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Her dirty footprints. A clue! Dirty little muddy footprints. Dirty little footprints. Oh, we're gonna go bump the log. Uh, She's running to the boat! Um, this one? Yeah. Renee, hold it right there. That skull isn't yours. To say nothing of the fact that you just tried to bury me alive. The skull is mine. It wants to be mine. Yes, I did my share of scheming to get it. I got Dr. Bolay to go to the authenticators, then switched the letter they wrote saying it was real with one I wrote saying it was fake, in hopes that Dr. Bolay would just hand it over to me. Yes, my plan failed, and yet, here we are. I have the skull. Why? Because it knows that I will fulfill its destiny. Bruno Bollet wanted Henry to have it. That's why he had Gilbert Buford steal that painting and hide it in Henry's parents' crypt. Because he hoped that way Henry would eventually find it. Henry is a fool. If he ever got his hands on this, he would just turn around and give it to that trashy girlfriend of his. Dr. Bollet, he just wanted it because he was terrified of dying. Okay. Gilbert Buford, too. And that Lamont fella, he just wants to sell it to the highest bidder. But me, my motives are pure. I am going to protect it so it can rendezvous with all those other skulls. I'm going to be right there when they start conversing and all the mysteries of the universe are forever solved. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. That is going to kill that no, out. Yeah, no, 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 come back! Renee burst into tears and sobbed as Bernie swam away with a crystal skull. It made me feel sorry for her for That's about like two seconds. After all, while she may not have meant to cause Bruno's death, she certainly meant to cause mine when yeah, she left call the police. In the crypt. <laughs> it felt good to turn her Thank over you. to the police. Oh, honey. Later that night, Dr. Buford came over and apologized for knocking me out with that smoke bomb and for allowing himself to think, that. even for a moment, that Bruno's crystal skull was anything more than a pretty piece of quartz. To make up for his shameful behavior, he insisted on taking Bess and me on a grand tour of New Orleans. Seeing the city through the eyes of someone who loves it as much as Dr. Buford was truly special. He invited yeah, Henry too, he but Henry Bess declined. And he was her still and trying to process the fact that his head. great uncle wanted him to have the skull. Henry always thought that to Bruno, he was nothing more than an annoying family obligation someone Bruno couldn't care less about. Yet Bruno's request of Dr. Buford, made with his dying breath, proved that he did care about Henry. Apparently, and unfortunately for Henry, 
Bruno was the type of man who just couldn't bring himself to say such things out loud. As for Lamont, when he heard what happened, he closed his shop, bought enough marshmallows to fill a swamp boat, and has been scouring the bayous ever since, kicking every log he comes to in hopes of finding Bernie and the crystal skull inside him. But Bernie has yet to turn up. Maybe the skull didn't agree with him. Maybe swallowing it caused him to stop associating the sound of a kicked log with yummy sweet things. Maybe he died. In any case, yeah. the whisperer has disappeared. Yeah, that's not coming Lost out of that to the alligator. world once again, which is totally fine by me. And all's well that ends well. Summer. Meta Awards. Oh, all right, we didn't eat the combo. We ate a lot of gumballs. We did eat a lot of gumballs. Um, we didn't chit chat with enough people. No. Yeah. We didn't Probably find Bolle enough. Um, or uh, Buford. Buford, yeah. We clicked the dummy quite a bit too. We did. We must have just not gotten it, and then we didn't find the Easter eggs. Yeah, that's all right. Cool. Talk about a detective's dream come true. The Italian police called me personally and requested that I travel to Italy and help them stake people. out a suspected <laughs> thief in Venice. Unfortunately, what started out as a simple assignment in a city filled with canals, gondolas, and romance quickly morphed into a full-fledged undercover operation. And I soon found myself trapped in a maze of lies, disguises, and danger. Help me find my way out by joining me in my next adventure. Phantom of Venice. So Nancy goes from nosy to Jason Bourne. Yeah, to Jason Bourne. <laughs> nosy Nancy to Jason Bourne, uh, you know, ultimate spy. But okay. She's a mess. Yep. Cool. Well, all right. Opinions. Um, way too many puzzles. Yeah. Way too many things to read and figure out and going back and forth like I'm glad we took pictures of that book because having to go that was ridiculous yeah. like the amount of like There's running too around many, and some of it I'm just like I don't know how we were supposed to figure that out yeah we looked up some hints just because it was some of it was a little ridiculous to try to figure out all the way uh, in a reasonable amount of time <laughs> yeah so um character wise they were okay Henry, yeah, I Henry they was were interesting fine. I felt like it was pretty obvious it was Renee. Yeah. She was pretty But I like that they broke up the, you know, the skeleton man was kind of a fake out. Right? Yeah. So I yeah. thought that was good. And I liked being able to play Bess. I do feel really bad for Bess. Like, yeah. again, just wanted to have a nice week with her friend out in New Orleans. And Nancy just goes off and does her own thing as usual. Yeah. Forces Bess to go breaking and entering and infiltrating a secret meeting that almost yeah. ended Just up with her dad. Just because you like to do those things yeah. doesn't mean your friend wants to yeah. do those things. So. Maybe Bess wants to go to the spa. Go to the spa, Nancy. Right. Now you need Next to time. The spa mystery. Right. Jeez. <laughs> Nancy just can't stop. She just learned how to relax. <laughs> well, All right. cool. Well, uh, we'll think about what we want to play next. I mean, maybe we'll do Phantom of yeah. Venice next. That could be fun. Just keep rolling with the uh, order here. Yep. So, well, we appreciate you guys' uh, watching and hanging tight with us as we struggle through <laughs> basic math and <laughs> puzzles <laughs> so uh, we'll see you guys soon see you bye